Hello everyone, Monty here, and today's Monty Chat is entitled, When You're Stressed Out, You Have to Shift Your Focus. So I have been so overly stressed out the last week, because I'm back on TikTok, which is a big mistake. I got off of it for months. It's like really, it's very addictive, TikTok. But so many negative messages on there. I got a death threat the other day, just because some guy was complaining about Biden winning, and I, I said something very simple to the guy. I said, hey, you know, it's over, he won, so either you accept it or live your life miserable. The choice is yours. I didn't name call him or say anything terrible. And he came back with, well, I'm not going to accept it. I'm going to kill all you Democrats. And I'm going to come find you first and start with you. And then he had pictures of him shooting you know, his guns on his page. You know, I reported him to TikTok, and I have lots of guns in my house. I, 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 anybody who comes after me, they're going to be rudely. <laughs> I'm like Fort Knox. I've got hurricane windows, cameras all over my house. Uh, those security lights that email me when they trigger go off. I've got an alarm system and I've got guns all over the house. So, so, so I really didn't get worried about it, but it just disturbs me from the standpoint of, and I go shooting all the time, I'm a good shot. It disturbs me from the point of how sick there are people out there. So moral to the story is I've been watching too much news, too much TikTok, and I needed to shift my focus. So I'm gonna go back to talk about Coronavirus can make you or break you, and I talked about this all the time, and I said, I've done some amazing things with my career. I got one new certification. I took a course and took the certification exam. I've read about three different business books, um, and I read them like textbooks and took notes and created all this new material to give presentations on the topics that I learned. I took another certification class, but I haven't taken the exam yet because I've been so, so busy at work. I had a deadline last week, and I was even working on the weekend, so I need to do that in the next couple of weeks. But I decided uh, today that I would focus on my job. I was to put my new, my new, excuse me, not my job, my new project, which is getting my website set up. So I may, I may have talked to you guys about this. Some of you may not have heard this, but I know a lot of you have a hard time finding my recipes, my cooking videos. I don't even have the recipes written down really, unless they're below a post. I don't have them all in one place. Um, and my cooking, there are so many different cooking videos that are embedded on my Instagram page. You know, I tell people, click the television icon and then you just see all my videos, which is the Monty Chats and the, um, the uh, cooking videos. But wouldn't it be great to have a place where you can search within a couple of clicks? I, I also took a certification course once uh, for knowledge management where you actually, they teach you the best way to set up content and people to find it, whether it's inside a corporation, people for searching it or on a website. And they always say they shouldn't click more than four clicks. So I know a lot of you search and have a hard time finding my stuff sometimes. So I'm really excited about the website from that aspect that it'll be all set up and you'll be able to find things very quickly. And it's gonna take me a lot of time to distribute everything. But why I'm telling you all this is today I had to spend all day, I have been going through the list of things that I needed. I have to get like this email blast thing set up. I had to get my domain set up with the emails. I had to get, um, I had to get all this other kind of, I don't even understand what half this stuff is. The, the, the web designer gave me links and I had to create accounts on all these different sites that will feed into my website. That's like really involved. And um, so I spent all day and I didn't have the TV on because I'm at the big screen in my office. I turned it off because I was concentrating. I'm also going through all the products I'm gonna sell. So I, I been, wanna talk about that a little bit. So, um, in addition to be able to have you guys find anything you need, I've been trying out these natural cosmetics um, that I'm branding with, you know, Happy Lifestyle Living brand of cosmetics. It's like face creams, moisturizer, shampoo, um, charcoal mask, face scrub. And I've been trying them out for four months because I didn't want to just, um, you know, sell it without really, really trying it. And I got to tell you, I have very sensitive skin. Clarins is a, a brand that I've used for many years that, um, you know, really didn't irritate my skin too much. A lot of things make me break out. I used to be a redhead and redheads are very sensitive skin. And um, the only thing is these products in the beginning, I used some of the stuff with hyaluronic acid and I did get very flushed like I had a sunburn, but I got used to it. I, I stayed away from it when I first had it, then I went back to it. I said, you know, it may smooth out my skin, so let me go back to it. And after four or five days of getting like, red and flush, I got used to it, and I see a big difference in my skin. I've always had good skin, I'll be honest with you, because I eat well, right? But I see a big difference even more since I've been using these 
products because basically I just used a little moisturizer in the morning and that was in. I wasn't doing the face scrubs, I wasn't doing extra moisturizing, the night cream, I was using some cucumber eye, um, you know, uh, stuff. And I said to myself, even if this stuff really doesn't make your skin look a lot better, it makes it feel a lot better. There's like this tea mist you spray on that makes you feel refreshed in the middle of the day, like you just took a shower. And so there's, I'll be, I'm getting, right now I'm getting all the pictures taken of the products with my label on it. I have to get the weights from the manufacturer and figure out what my packaging is going to be so I can put that, give that to the web designer for the checkout. I'm having a shopping cart where you can just check out and pay for everything I'm on my website, everything right there. So it's really involved. And I noticed that, let's get back to the, the reason this chat was, the shift in focus. I was so focused on all the negative. I've been obsessed. i got to be honest with you guys. I've been negatively obsessed with all this stuff from the election. It's been affecting my whole being. And I've you know, I preached about this before. I learned this in psychology. I have a degree in psychology, for those of you who don't know. But I wasn't applying it recently in my life. Sometimes I need to hear myself talk or remember the things that I tell everyone else or that I learned and studied, whether I read it in Psychology Today or a psychology textbook. And you have to shift your focus. That's why I always say people, a lot of people I know that are retired or I know a couple of trust fund babies, they're always depressed and stressed out because they're too much free time. They're in their head thinking about things too much. So I shift my focus today into my website and doing all this stuff. I mean, I worked all morning on this. I couldn't believe, like, boom, it was like one o'clock from eight o'clock this morning to one o'clock, boom. It was like time flew by and I felt so relaxed. And I said, okay, next couple of days while I'm off of work, this is what I'm focusing on. I probably have like five days, full days of stuff I have to do to get this off the ground. And I have to get my first order in the next day or two for my products. So I'm trying to figure out which ones I want to start with. And um, I've spent thousands of dollars on this. Just like I've spent a lot of money on my YouTube channel that I, I never made any money off of any of this stuff in my entire life. Of all my posting, for about four or five years of me posting, starting back on Weight Watches, I never made a cent. I did get some coupons to um, Alfresco Chicken Bacon, which is about $20 worth of coupons. And I did get something when I did a review of the DB method. They sent me a little package of accessories that were valued about $100. That's all I've ever gotten. So I'm... You know, I hate the term blessed because it makes it sound like you've just like been blessed and you didn't work hard for it. But I am very fortunate. Let me use that thing. I, you know, that I do have money. I don't have to worry about income right now. I have a great job that I'm really, really good at. But if I was being really real with you guys and somebody said, what would you like to do if you could do anything for a job? And it would be doing this full time, doing health and fitness blogs, full time, selling the cosmetics. And now they want to tell you some things, ideas I have. I just don't want to. I would love to be able to make enough money that I could quit, that replace my income with my job, which I think is a lofty goal because I make a lot of money, you know? But it's possible, right? And if I can do that, that would be the best thing for me. I would love doing it. I feel like it's giving back to people and I want to even do more so. So what I thought about is I'm going to pick a charity. I think right now with where it is right now, maybe like a national feed the homeless kind of, or feed the hungry because all these people on food lines I'm seeing. But I haven't figured it out yet. I want, in the beginning, I'm gonna start small because I'm laying out thousands of dollars, but from the time I make my first sale, I'm gonna give 10% to a charity and I will announce what charity it is. So when anybody buys a product, they feel like they're giving 10% to charity. They're doing something charitable. And I'm trying to make the products reasonable. I know a lot of facial products are expensive, especially when they're um, all natural like these are. But, um, you know, I, I'm definitely gonna go on the lower side of the MSRP for these kind of, you know, manufactured suggested retail price for products like this, um, but definitely want to start off with 10%. And once I pay myself back and I'm making more money, I'll bump it up to probably like 15 or 20% of, of all sales going to, um, you know, going to some charity. Maybe I'll switch up the charities. I haven't worked all those in, in, you know, intricacies out yet, but I think it's really important when we're stressed out. I talk about all the things that make us feel better. Stay away from the negative influences. Those can be toxic people. So shift your focus. Don't let those people get into your focus and don't be focused on them. Remove those toxic people. Looking at the time, we're doing pretty good. Um, remove those toxic people from your life. Remove toxic situations. I am avoiding certain people at work right now like the plague because they're diehard Trump supporters and they want to talk about it all the time and I refuse to talk about it. So remove toxic people, toxic situations. Maybe it's going to a place. I went to a bar once that the 60 year old guy was always trying to start this fight with me every time I went there. So I, I, I um, stopped going to the bar, even though I loved it. It was a little neighborhood bar. Um, that was a long time ago. Nobody should be going to a bar right now anyway. 
Um, do something that will be product productive for you. I've talked about coronavirus will make you or break you. Do something that's going to help you and others in the future. Me getting this site up and running, whether I make a penny or not, is going to help all you guys. You're going to find my recipes easier. It's going to be so much easier, so much better things. But I want to sell stuff on there, and I also want to start relationships with the manufacturers of all these products that I'm already promoting and try to get you guys coupons, right? And that's what they do. Yeah, I would get some money too from the advertising the product. I would only talk about products that I'm already using that I love and then say that, and then they give me a special coupon for my followers so they can see how much I'm bringing them as sales, right? And all everybody wins, right? I'll make a little bit of money from the company. You guys will get products cheaper. You'll find out about these new great products I'm enjoying and it's a win-win. Plus, if you buy some of the beauty products, um, it's gonna go to charity. So if you have any ideas of some charities, if you like the food idea, if you know of a national group that helps feed all these people, maybe that's a good first one. If you have any other ideas, let me know. I'm open to it right now. I'm really, really excited about this because again, even if I don't make a penny selling the products, just having this website up and running is going to uh, really make it easier for my cooking videos, you can find recipes, um, not even, even the recipes that you could print out, video recipes that you can watch, and you know, hopefully just go to the search bar and type in what you're looking for, and boom, in two clicks, typing the name and hitting search, you'll find exactly what you're looking for. And I'm telling you, I know that I need this. I need a distraction right now from all this stuff because it's been making me nuts, and I don't like the thoughts that are going on inside my head, and today was the first day that I felt quasi-normal, where I wasn't thinking about it at all, I wasn't, wasn't obsessing about it, and I always say you gotta shift your focus. Number one thing to do also that I always talk about is when you're feeling really stressed out, go work out because the endorphins is like a natural morphine in your system. I talked about when my brother died, you know, my mother had cancer and I was so stressed out. My stepfather died right before my brother died. You know, exercise and those endorphins really helped clear my mind and, um, you know, um, get, get elevate my mood from that darkness that I was feeling. So uh, anyway, I was just feeling passionate about this topic today because I shift my focus. I feel like a new person. I need to delete TikTok again. I need to really limit the news and just focus now. I've got so much work to do for this website. I'm sure I'm going to be fine now, right? Because I'm going to put all my energy and keep thinking about what I keep saying to you. Coronavirus, it can make you or break you. I'm going to make a new business, build a new business that's going to help people, that's going to donate money to charity and do what is my life's passion, which is this, helping people with diet, exercise, healthy cooking, other things, flower arrangements. I've been showing you my flowers in my bedrooms. I'll do some videos later. I did, did flower arrangements in the bedrooms. I have flowers in the, in, the, um, in the dining room, the living room. They make me happy. I'm also doing these remote pizza parties. I hope I'm giving you guys some good ideas. That made me feel real good that my friend's been dying to cook with me and I just said, hey, let's just do it remotely. Let's do it with the, you know, Echo Show device that I gave you. We'll just, like we do our happy hour every Saturday night and we're doing another one on Friday. Um, so we did pizza on Tuesday. We're doing, I bought her a crock pot, my friend, and we're doing uh, my chili on Friday. So um, there's all kinds of creative ways. You can connect with people through food and exercise. You can go take walks with your friends, just wear a mask because I got a big scare walking with someone whose family member had COVID. Um, but there's so many different ways you can connect with people with food, exercise, and uh, trying to do some things that are uh, charitable. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's chat. I'm going to get back to work because I got a lot of work to do. You can leave a long list of things this website company gave me to do. And I'll be talking to you soon.